Okay, um, the derivatives of the uh, hyperbolic functions are pretty straightforward to work with. Um, here we have just one video regarding the um, derivative of the hyperbolic tangent, and we thought we would go about it uh, starting with the basic definition of the uh, hyperbolic tangent. So we could write it like this, d dx of the hyperbolic tangent of x that will equal d dx of this e this is the hyperbolic sine divided by the hyperbolic cosine so we're going to have e to the x subtract e to the minus x divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x. And we want to take the derivative of this expression. So let's see. That is going to be equal to this times the derivative of this minus this times the derivative of this. And that whole expression is divided by this quantity squared. So, let's go ahead and do that. We'll write it out down here where we have lots of room. So, we're going to have this e to the x plus e to the minus x. And that's going to be multiplied by the derivative of this, which is going to be the derivative of this is e to the x. This would be minus e to the minus x, and there's already a minus sign there, so that will make it plus e to the minus x. And then we have minus this times the derivative of this. So we're going to have e to the x, this times the derivative of this, minus e to the minus x. And let's see, that is going to be times the derivative of this, which is e to the x. And the derivative of e to the minus x dx, that's minus e to the minus x dx dx, which of course is 1. So we have this, and this whole thing here now is going to be multiplied by e to the x plus e to the minus x squared. Now, it looks like we can rewrite the numerator here we have e to the x. Let's just make a little bit more room here. This will equal e to the x plus e to the minus x squared minus e to the x. Subtract e to the minus x squared. And that will be divided by this, e to the x plus e to the minus x squared. And up here, we have a difference of two squares. And let's remember how that goes. Um, if we have a squared minus b squared, that's equal to a plus b times a minus b. So we can write out the numerator then as this without the squares. Take the squares away. Take the exponent of 2 away. We would have this plus this times this minus this. So let's do that down here where we have some more room. 
So we're going to have this e to the x plus e to the minus x plus this quantity plus e to the x minus e to the minus x a plus b and then this is going to be multiplied by a minus b or that would be without the exponents this minus this so we're going to have times this e to the x plus e to the minus x minus e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by this e to the x plus e to the minus x squared and let's see what we have upstairs here we have e to the x plus e to the x and it's like these two terms here are going to cancel out so those drop out and over here we have e to the x minus e to the x so these are going to drop out and we have e to the minus x minus negative e to the minus x and those will combine together so here we're going to have 2 times e x and then we're going to multiply that by 2 times e to the minus x e to the x plus e to the x that's 2 e to the x and then here we have e to the minus x minus negative e to the minus x so that's going to be e to the minus x plus e to the minus x so we have 2 and they're being multiplied together now as these two expressions are divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x squared this is going to be e to the zero we multiply those together which is one and two times two is four so we get this over e to the x plus e to the minus x square so going back up to here we're saying that this is equal to 4 divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x squared okay let's just make some more room here then Now, let's see, the hyperbolic cosine of x, that's e to the x plus e to the little plus here, e to the minus x over 2. And if I squared that, I would have this squared over 4. But I have here the reciprocal of that. So this must be equal to then the hyperbolic secant squared of x. This is what the hyperbolic cosine squared of x is. Take the reciprocal of that, which is what we have here, and that would be the hyperbolic secant squared x, which is what we wanted to show. Now, obviously, I was like it was kind of doing it the wrong way around. Because we could also have said right from the beginning that 
the derivative of the hyperbolic tangent of x would equal d dx of the hyperbolic sine of x divided by the hyperbolic cosine of x okay and again using division we would have that would equal this times the derivative of this minus this times the derivative of this over this squared so let's do that we'll have this times the derivative of this with respect to x and that would be the hyperbolic cosine of x minus this times the derivative of this with respect to x and that's the hyperbolic sine of x divided by this squared hyperbolic cosine squared minus the hyperbolic sine squared hope you remember from our introduction video that is just 1. So we have 1 over the hyperbolic cosine squared and that equals the hyperbolic secant squared of x. So clearly doing it this way is the shorter way but again we weren't do this method here before um, just to kind of show that it can be done and of course each way we get the same expression. Okay um, we have some videos on handling basic um, hyperbolic integrals and some more complicated examples and also we have videos where we take derivatives of inverse hyperbolic functions so hopefully you'll find those worthwhile come back and join us for those and we'll pick up from there